It is November 27th, 2015, otherwise known as Black Friday, which of course means I had to go shopping for stuff. And when I go shopping for stuff, I usually bring stuff back, which is exactly what happened today. Um, as, as with many people who are into the sort of things I'm into, I have a way of collecting various pieces of audio equipment and other audio-related stuff, um, a lot of which is second-hand, but not all of it. Um, so, either way, my uh, Black Friday uh, uh, running all over creation buying stuff adventure <laughs> started at a local record store, where they actually had something I wasn't quite expecting. They had blank tapes. So, I got this 10-pack of brand new TDK D90s with a TDK CD Power 110 attached to the side. Um, most of the, the D90s are pretty uh, run-of-the-mill, but I do have some things I could I think I could get away with recording on here, especially if I end up recording some stuff that's going like, to get played in the car or something, and I don't want to ruin a decent tape by leaving, you know, having it sitting you know, heating up and cooling down in the car all the time. So, but it didn't end there with the tapes. Speaking of the uh, CD Power 110s, also got one, two, three, and the rest of them, four, move these closer so you can see them, Starting to get out of the frame. Let's see, I had four there. Five. Are there more of them? No, there are five more CD Power 110s. Uh, these were a dollar piece. Um, maybe a little much, but for uh, it's harder to find these nicer tapes, especially in a 110 minute length. Seems like a uh, the kind of thing you might have trouble finding, so. Especially given basically every store in this area has stopped carrying cassettes. <laughs> so, I decided to go for those. Um, this was, this pack down here on the other hand was five bucks for the entire thing. So like about 50 cents a tape just for the, the D90s. So, that was a better deal. Um, so, we, I also got a uh, 60 minute Sony um, normal bias tape. I assume that's a Sony HF. Doesn't quite say anywhere. Yeah, it just says Sony Hi-Fi. I assume that's what would normally be refer referred to as Sony HF. I got then... Yes, it keeps going. Three Maxell UR90s, which are essentially the same thing as the D90s, just, you know, slightly different formulation, you know, from a different manufacturer. Um, also 50 cents a tape. Again, I can find things to do with those. And then... Yes, this is finally it. Three more TDK D90s at 50 cents a tape. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I should be good on blank tapes for a while, <laughs> needless to say. Um, but yeah, so I'll find... Uh, at some point, maybe I'll do a demo video of recording something to each of these and then playing it back so you can hear how it, each one sounds and compare them. Um, but for now... We'll set those aside, so I have more room to then show the rest of the stuff I got after that. So after the trip to the record store, I headed over to good, the local Goodwill. Now I expected to find some big piece of audio equipment, but I actually came back with something a little different. CDs. That is the other thing I have been buying at Goodwill recently, specifically because of my radio show on WRUR. Uh, it's called Rock Rewind. It's on Tuesdays, 10 p.m. to midnight. Um, go to WRUR.org for more information or listen online if you're not in the Rochester, New York area. Um, <laughs> so, yeah, I had to throw in a little shameless plug for my show right there. But anyway, the show is done entirely from CDs, per uh, rules at the station. Well, I could do it off the automation system. There's just not much. Um not enough music on it, <laughs> quite frankly. But anyway, I digress. Um, 
Uh, so this here it looks entirely black on camera, but it is Metallica. Um, I'm not sure how much I'll actually play this on the show, but I have it just in case. Then I got Journey, Departure, and Rush Chronicles, a two-disc set. So those should be coming to my show soon. Then after that, yeah, it doesn't end there. I went to Guitar Center. And this is where the interesting stuff came in. They had a bunch of good deals. First, because you can never have too many of these. Power Strip. It was like 10 bucks. Nice cheap one. They're useful for various things. But here's the real good stuff. This is a Shure SM48. As it says right there. It's essentially the same thing as an SM58, but about half the price, and in this case, uh, about 30% of the price. It's 30 bucks. Um, I think I saw it cheaper there once. I think I got one for 25 at one point. Um, but I have another one of these, and they're very useful. They work just great as general purpose, um, general purpose vocal mics for whatever live sound you may be doing. Um, that, that's what I use it for anyway. Um, so, got that. So, just to add to my, uh, a collection of live sound equipment for various sound reinforcement gigs that I do sometimes. Then, I found an EV Cobalt 4. Sorry, I have to, put, well, let's see if I can turn this right side up. There we go. An EV Cobalt 4 instrument mic. Um, this was also 30 bucks, also on major sale. Um, I don't have very many instrument mics, so I figured I, this one was cheap enough. I figured I'd try it out. They can come in handy sometimes. So, but yeah, after that, ran around to a couple more thrift stores, a couple other things like that. Didn't find a whole lot. So, either way, this is what I got. Two mics, power strip, a whole lot of blank tapes, CDs, and actually, there's one thing I'm forgetting. Let me grab it. Back at the record store, there was one other thing I got. I got a copy of Emerson, Lake, and Palmer's Trilogy album uh, on vinyl, of course. So, I'll have to see. At some point I have to find a, <laughs> find a way to play it. Maybe get my uh, turntable back up, um, back up in Rochester working right. The, uh, I have a Gerard SL65B that I got on eBay a while back that I still need to get working properly. Um, and I think the one here at home needs a new needle, if I recall correctly. So at some point, once those repairs are done, I'll be able to listen to this. Maybe I'll record it to cassette so I can get it to get it um, to play in places that I don't have a turntable. Um, as much as I'd like to keep it, you know, as much as it's great to have it on vinyl, the, I will very much admit the cassette is far more convenient, and it does still maintain the uh, analog nature of things. You just gotta, just gotta record, just gotta take care to record it nicely. Um, but that's a talk for another video. <laughs> um, but yeah, so now this is everything I got, and hopefully I will do um, some separate videos on the more interesting stuff I got here uh, at a later time. So thanks for watching, and stay tuned for more.